Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one, I'm going to be taking a look at Cody with his zombie gear. Zombie Cody, Endless Nightmare with his gear. Uh, it adds 4 MP to red moves, and it allows a couple things. Um, the first one, I'm still not crazy about him, but if you have a middle line bonus of 1 in feud or a plus 1 yellow, uh, you can run him, and he is really, really good. So we're going to start with the normal one uh, with a bare bones strap with no plate. And then we'll go on from there uh, and put a Titan on um, when I show you. So <clears throat> it's just going to be triple red, end of the roads, 10 MP finisher, 890k damage, make 38 blasts into red, reanimated slam, 183k damage, increase your red jam damage, 175% one turn, does not affect bonus damage hardcore if your health is below 75%. First deal, 188k damage, um, and increase your red gem damage by another 175%. And then disarmed, 7 MP submission, generate 39 rando sub gems, 268k, 3 turns, remaining turn into blast gems. So the gear for this build allows you to use JBL and add 25% more to the red gems, 100% more to the blast. You could use Sammy here for 100% blast. I'm using Zombie Priest just because of the zombie theme, and I felt like it. And then Stacy for flat reds. Um, so 200% move damage metal, Fury 2's, 20% gem damage strap, 200% um, red, like I said. Otherwise, uh, you know, nothing too crazy there. So I'll run this without the Titan and with it. Of course, with a sub, you lose a lot of those blast gems, unfortunately. You could also use a sub reduction. Um, uh, coach in place of priest, but then they're very likely to be loaded, so I'm not a fan of that either. Uh, actually, we won't be using a Titan Plate on this build because it's a sub, so Titan Plate doesn't work. But I will put a Dog Ear Gremlin Plate on for this build for you guys, and run a Titan Plate with the, the one I really, really like with a middle line bonus or plus one yellow, so... So those Blast Gems are going to do 227k... 2.5 million finisher. Pretty solid damage. Almost 9 mil in the finisher without anything crazy in the gear. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. I'll put the dog ear gremlin plate on. So you guys can see, for those of you that have it, I think it's been on a prize, the prize walls fairly often recently. Um, whenever you do sub gems, 100%, I think it's red and blue gem damage. Yeah, three or more sub gems, increase your red and blue gem damage 100% for two turns. Obviously, this buffs the red even more. Next one is what I really like. You guys know I'm not crazy about sub builds. Um, Although this is pretty decent because it's random um, and all of that jazz. So it would be pretty quick in feud. Uh, recycle very easily. Um, but just keep in mind it's a sub so Titan Plate doesn't work. This one we have a ton of gems left. This is going to hit really hard I would imagine. 275k. Yeah, 11.6 mil. So, still not great, but a lot better. And most of it's gem damage, so, you know, that would probably be 18, 19 mil at 6-star silver. Now, what's really interesting to me is this with a middle lane um, or a plus one um, to yellow on the feud um, perks. And, of course, Titan Plate will work on this. And this one is, we're adding in the bite, deal 134k damage, make 38 random into blast. So you don't have to do a sub. Um, it does need 17k Santa as well, or higher. And Kofi. This, of course, is Super Santa, so Dog Ear Gremlin, Gremlin Plate won't do anything. I'm going to keep the 20% strap because it is Super Santa. Uh, but I will put the Titan plate on and we're just going to skip the first turn that would simulate that middle line bonus. So it'll give you an idea um, of what it does.
Okay. And then we'll put the Titan plate on. <clears throat> and I'll show you what it'll hit. Uh, very hard uh, three-click in feud with the middle line bonus and a Titan. So it would just be boom. Of course, you keep all of the blast gems. Then you hit your buff. And you blow up the board. So that's 10 million right there, and that's without a Titan. A lot of gem damage. So let's and then, so let's check this out now with the Titan plate. All right, let's go. So again, <clears throat> um, you would need the middle line bonus or plus one uh, yellow, either or. And then it would just be a couple clicky clicks. Three, a few, not a couple. All right, blast gems go out. Titan plate goes off for 200% all gems. Then we're going to buff the reds. Now we're up to 253k per gem. 2.8 million finisher. Let's see how much gem damage we do. 11 million. So that would be 22 million gem damage plus the finisher. Uh, should be clearing 25 million. You, of course, could put a sheriff's badge on. Uh, you know what? Let's run win and wish the sheriff's badge, too. Uh, because the yellows will be buffed 200%. Why not? Because, I mean, you know, Cody finished his story, so I got a feeling other people might want to finish the story in the game. So, boom. JBL doing his thing. Okay, no big deal. Great. My turn. So, of course, the red uh, damage is all going to be the same, but then we're going to chuck uh, a metric crap ton of yellow gems that are also buffed in, by the Titan plate. So... So that was 17 million gem damage. That would be like 35. We did have a very nice cascade. So long story short, gear, titan plate, middle line bonus, or plus one yellow on the bottom. And uh, Cody is actually pretty great in feud. Uh, far cry from what he used to be. Um, so the gear definitely helps. I, I am actually kind of excited about the gear now because I have a middle line fairly often. And then there's also yellow bonuses. So um, that's actually pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, his gear looks to be, I believe it's two bonus milestones. So two past the free. Uh, but it's not necessarily a crazy um, amount past. So it likely will take a little spending. Uh, sorry, three past. But probably not a ton. It also depends what your zombies looks like. Because it's actually only 200k points past the free. Uh, which is actually pretty minimal. Um, it's probably like a uh, 7, seven loophole deal kind of thing. Uh, potentially to get there if you're close. So uh, keep that in mind. You, no rush though. You don't need to spend today. You can wait and see where you end up. Maybe you'll get some of those bonus ones free. Who knows how the contest works out. I don't know your roster. Anyway... Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.